Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 19 Experimental Build 173. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue our adventure here uh, in Zombie Apocalypse Land. Um, so let's see. Yeah, before we get started, uh, if you enjoy this video and if I entertain you, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have already subscribed, thank you very much. And guess what, guys? We have reached, finally... The 1,000 subscriber mark. In fact, we're about five subscribers over now <laughs> at the time of uh, me making this video. That's just, I'm, I'm very happy and I'm very thankful to all of you who have subscribed, um, both to those of you who have been with me almost from the beginning. I do have, um, you know, some some viewers that have, have literally just about been with me from the beginning when I started making Seven Days to Die videos on YouTube some, you know, two, two, two and a half or so years ago. Um, to the, the person that was my 1000th subscriber, I just really, really appreciate it. Really grateful to you guys. And, um, it's, it's awesome. So it's, it's a big milestone in the channel and hopefully we can continue to go up from here. So yeah, thank you guys very much. Really appreciate it. Okay. So, um, in this episode, we're going to quest. We've been uh, doing some other things lately, which is great because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want every single episode to be questing, but. We have, you know, done some other things, and now I think it's time for us to get back into questing in earnest. I have uh, three tier threes here, and we'll probably start with the one that's the closest. Take our auto shotgun and just go to town on those quests. Um, I want to show you a couple things first, though. Uh, I've got nades making up here in the tool bench. We are going to graduate to nades on Horde Knight, so that's, that's done. Um, I still have some pipe bombs, too, and I'm still hitting the damn F key, too. Man, what's the matter with me? Can't take me anywhere. I still have some pipe bombs, but I'm going to probably just use these when we're out and about. And, um, you know, save the grenades for Horde Knight, because um, I'm I'm expecting it to be a pretty substantial Horde Knight. So, let's see. we got enough repair kits. Our food and water is in pretty damn good shape. We've got a full stack of ammo, almost a full stack of, of um, uh, armor piercing, and then a full stack of shotties. we got those yeah i think we're in good shape so let's go ahead and head out i do want to show you the final uh the finishing touches rather that i put on the horde base and it is all ready to go for us so um first thing is the robotic turret on the top i keep wanting to call it a junk turret because that's what it used to be called but now it's a robotic turret um that's actually that better a little bit better yellow one that we found i had the orange one up there uh before uh, so it's all loaded up. It holds a little bit more ammo than the other one does, too. And uh, so it's ready to go for vulture control during Horde Night. Um, I've got all the wiring and all the fence posts and everything set up. And as you can see, uh, on both sides, I've enclosed uh, the fence posts so that they are protected from cop spit. And as you can see, I also put some uh, iron spikes down below. I um, I made an actual floor with concrete instead of the, you know, the, the uh, ruined stone uh, material and then I put iron spikes down there because you know one of the features of this base is that if things start getting really bad and I think we're gonna get overrun I can pop the the hatch doors and drop the zombies right on top of the spikes down there now hopefully if we have to do that at all which we probably won't but if we do hopefully that's towards the end of the night because I think this I think this base is gonna spank them pretty good you know we've got these uh, three Upgraded uh, steel hatches with a total of 21,000 hit points and I've got the electric fences uh, going through uh, Alternating between the top and the bottom blocks um, and then of course ourselves. We got our auto shotgun And so between all of that, I think we're gonna make a really good showing on uh, Horde Knight 35 I I'll be honest with you. I'll, I would be surprised if this base fails on Horde 35 I think it's gonna do pretty well and then I also put these hatches in here so if I need to get in later um, and, you know, repair, I'll get up on blocks, of course, but I can get to both that fence post, the one in the center, of course, and that one over there to either repair it or replace it if if that, you know, uh, has to happen. So that way, you know, I don't have to break through the reinforced concrete uh, to get to those things. So hard base is good to go. Yeah, it really is. Um, we've got, you know, everything's patched up, so there's still only this one path that, that they can come through. And uh, all indications that I've seen 
uh, with this base design is that, th that they will definitely think they can come this way and continue to do so. Okay, so let's go have some fun, guys. Let's go do some questing. Um, so let's go, we'll go get our motorcycle here, and then we're just going to start knocking these quests out. Um, I'm not planning on doing a whole lot of blocking the door and taking a long time. I'm going to, I'm going to do a little bit more zerging here with our shotgun. I mean, I'm not going to go absolutely insane crazy so that we die. Well, at least I hope we don't die. Uh, but you know, we're going to move, we can move through these a little quicker. We, we, we need to be careful, but we don't need to be super careful at this point, you know, with the way that we're equipped. So let's go here and we're going to select the, um, tier three quest. Let's make that the active quest. And whereabouts is that on the map? Okay, that's here right in our own hometown, just up in the in the northeast corner. Okay, let's go do it. I think I've done this POI before, but I can't remember exactly how it all goes down. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to say sometimes if you know if you've actually done them or not. Usually, but not in every case, but usually when it has you enter from the roof, the fat loots are in the basement and vice versa. And it looks like we start from here and then go across that bridge and enter through the roof and then go down. So let's just see if we can figure out where the fat loots are um, and see if we can double loot this place before we start the quest for realsies. Oh, wow, that's just wood. Okay, I'm going to put the... Um, where is my axe? Here it is. Let's make sure everything's loaded, too. That's probably not a bad idea to do that. What do you guys think? You think? Okay. <laughs> Buckshot in the ass. All right. That was funny. Um... Oh, shit! Where did you come from, lady? Ronald McDonald! Ooh. That was painful. For him. Um. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and hop in here. So, are we gonna have friends up in here? Hello? Hello? Maybe not. Um... Okay, so I don't know. Let's see. Would we go this way from here or the other way? Oh, yeah, probably this way to go down. Anyone in here? Hola! <laughs> nah, I'm not taking that. Okay. I really just want to get the fat loot, so I'm not... Here to loot everything. Did we read that thing where we can sneak over trash or not? I can't remember. Sounds like we're making noise. Is that a weapons? It's a it's a backpack. Well, we'll check it. What the hell? Yeah, that was worth our time. <laughs> oh, look at that! There's like a little cave or something over that way. All right, let's go in here. All right. Um, this looks familiar. I think I have. That's just a damn suitcase. I'm not going to waste time on that. I think I've been in here before. I think we came in here on my multiplayer server back in Alpha 18. Okay, there's um cheerleader. Let's see if we can take her out quietly. That's the way you do it. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Oh, I better not do that. I'll get copyright strike. Oh, shit! 
That scared me. <laughs> See, the thing about the zombies is, um... You kind of expect to hear them before you see them, and that's not always the case. Sometimes those bastards sneak right up on you, and all of a sudden, there they are. All of a sudden, there they are. This is really interesting down here. You know what? I'm not so sure now that I actually have been in this POI. It's like they've got a living area set up, but down like in the dirt, which is kind of odd. Yeah, I'm not so sure I have have done this after all. There's a lot lot more to this place than it appears on the outside. Is there anything in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Wow, man, this thing goes on for a long ways, doesn't it? Okay, so are we supposed to go down there? Or go around this way? Let's just go around this way. Hmm. Oh, I'll take those. Maybe there's some meat stew in here or yucca juice. I, like I said, I don't want to. I don't want to do a lot of basic looting. I want to get to the good stuff. Holy crap! This place is huge. Oh. Oh, there you are. There was something blocking me from getting all the way back up that ladder. That's, these aren't uh, lootable, are they? They are not. It still goes on. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that that um, kind of um, adobe type house that has the big giant underground, you know, mad scientist lab bunker place in it. I will be putting points into... Um, Deadeye, because I'm starting to work on Perception now, and we did just level, oh wow, look at that, Iron Crossbow, okay, and this is do 10% more sneak damage at night, yes, I will take that, I will take that, got, um, lockers, Kind of makes you wonder when you see places like this, like, what the hell did they do here? Or maybe I don't want to know, <laughs> you know? Uh, I might actually take that. All right, we don't need any of this stuff here. I mean, that's that might be worth hanging on to to sell, but we don't need any of this stuff. So let's uh, scrap a doodle. I already have BDU bottoms. These have one more heat resist, though. But minus two cold resist. I think I'd rather have cold resist than heat resist. We'll hang on to that. Um, let's down this to make some more room. And if we come across anything else that's a brass item, we'll, we'll scrap it to save space there. Okay. Um, like, actually, what we're going to do right now.
Okay, so I guess... Let's take a look-see in here. Oh, shit. I'm guessing this was probably the women's bathroom. Oh, biker. Come on, big boy. I, oh, nice. I always want I always check the toilets for for toilet pistols. In case you're wondering why is he looking in the toilet? <laughs> That's why. We need those parts for later on. Okay. This is way, way longer than I thought it was going to be, you guys. Way longer and bigger. There's like a little cafe up here. This is so weird. Okay, we're going to take that thing apart for steel. Let's hit this sink, too. I didn't really need that stuff. Yeah, the size of this place is impressive. Um, alright, so... Is this gonna be one of those deals where we have to jump over to get the Zeeks to spawn? There's the fat loots, finally. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can get somebody's attention by doing this. Yowzers! Wait, where did Edgar go? Are those stairs broken out? Oh shit! <laughs> I think I hit him. We gotta run over here so he come, comes over. Okay, that's not working out too well. Let's go ahead and jump over here. Woo! Nobody back here? Is this like a secret passageway to get out of here? Oh, nope, it's just a... a bag. With some vitamins. Irradiated spiders are no joke, man. Those things are pretty dangerous. One of the more dangerous Zeekers in this game. Alright, so we made it to the fat loots. Let's go ahead and break the boxes open. Hmm, nice, uh, nice ratchet there. Bow parts, we'll take those. And some, some food, food and drink. Okay, so, um, we're, we're gonna need to make some space here. Well, let's just see what we have first, and then we'll make an executive decision. Okay, well, we can take that stuff. Um, I don't care about these. 
these are not better than what we're currently wearing, but they would be worth taking to sell. Um, it'd be nice to have the Molotovs, but not super important, particularly now that we have, excuse me, a big, a big old supply of gasoline now. So really the only two things I want to absolutely take are these two. So we got to get rid of two things. We can get rid of the plastic and we'll take those and we can drink this to take those. And I think we're good. All right, guys. Now, how in the hell do I get out of this place? <laughs> um, oh, probably up here, huh? Yeah, this is, this place is huge. Way bigger than I would have would have expected it to be. Um, I kind of like that too. You know what? We can part with one mechanical uh part. Part with one mechanical part. Anything good in here? Um, that would be definitely worth selling. So how about if we... We don't need this. It is not necessary. This does 64 block damage. This does 75. Of course, it's modded. Yeah. That's a nice ratchet, though. That's a lot of mechanical parts. I kind of hate to leave those behind, actually. But... Mm. Yeah, there's just not really anything else I want to get rid of. Here, let, I, I know what, let's scrap those because there's only that's only two springs. Not a big deal. That way we can take those mechanical parts. Okay. Now, is this a... That's probably just a normal crate with a toilet in it. That door is locked. Oh, we're inside the garage. We are inside the garage. How are you supposed to get out of here without breaking stuff? I mean, we can certainly break stuff if we have to. Is this just wood? Nope, that's not just wood. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, I guess we're expected to to break our way out of here, which we can do. Not that big of a deal. Um, so, yeah, let's get the pick out, and then we'll just cut a hole all the way through. Let's go ahead and do the quest um, for real now, and we'll, we'll just go along the, the path, the normal path. So this is a clear quest, so we basically have to just kill everything. Let's do it. Oh, nice. I don't like mod. We shall take that. Oh, shit, that scared me. Oh, man, lady. Oh, geez, that scared me. What did I tell you, man? They just sneak up on you. They don't make any noise at all. And then all of a sudden, bam, there they are. Whew. Okay. It's good. We're all good. I don't think I'm having a cardiac arrest. I gotta check my pulse here. <laughs> God, that scared me. Oh, man. And the funny thing, too, is where in the hell did she actually come from? I mean, we came out this door. I looked over there. There isn't really... Uh, I wonder if she... Oh, uh, she must have come up from downstairs. That's probably what she did. get old man that is <laughs> she took <laughs> excuse 
asked me. <coughs> she took a big old header right <laughs> out of that closet, slid across the table. Oh man, that is just uh, that, that's that makes it all worthwhile, man. That makes it all worthwhile. Oh geez. Okay. <laughs> Fun pimps have a good sense of humor, man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> okay, <laughs> let's keep moving here. <laughs> I know I'm easily amused, but come on, you gotta admit that was pretty damn funny. Okay, let's continue on here. So this is where. This is where we started, actually. Well, in the last... Uh, in our, our double loot session, I should say. I think we just... Didn't we just break through the wall and come in right through here, I think? Yeah. Okay. Have I mentioned to you guys how much I love this shotgun? You're, you're all saying, yeah, old guy, you've told us like a million times since you've had it. Well, just in case, I just want you to know that I really love this shotgun. What did I just do? Why did that, like, just destroy? Maybe there was, must not have been anything in it to begin with. Yeah, we don't need that stuff. Oh my god, that was funny. That <laughs> nurse. <laughs> Alright, scrap that, scrap that. Toss that, toss that. We never actually looked to see what was in... Oh yeah, I think we did look to see what was in here last time. Can we... Yep, there we go. Uh, yep, that's worth fixing up and selling. Oh, we haven't really run across very many of these. Let's just go ahead and read this now. Maybe we'll do that as a part of next of the next episode. Shotguns have 20% less degradation. Very good. And this is the semi-mod schematic. All right, cool. Never really used that very much. At least not in this game. More duct tape. More duct tape. Okay, I think we're going to get jumped somewhere right in here. Sounds like she's above us, though. Is there anything hidden back behind here? Almost there, guys. Almost there. Is that, like, an actual wall? Yep, it is. We'll take that. We don't really need the pipe. We can make pipes very easy. Oh, shit. She's about to drop right on my head. How rude. Uh, yeah, we can learn that. And another pipe wrench. Uh, 
All right, so those guys must be up in that area. Oh, yeah. They must be up in that area. Okay. Anybody or anything around here? Check the blockers again. We're going to have to repair our uh, impact driver here pretty soon. Where the hell are those guys all at? Oh, you know what? They're up above. Ah, okay. Well, we'll deal with them when the time comes. They'll get what's coming to them. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, let's just eat that now. Sounds like there's um, a crawler somewhere nearby. We know there's going to be some nasties right across the way here, so let's use the, sta the, the same strategy that we used last time. Um, so we'll grab this. There they are. Hi, boys and girls. Oh, shit. That's Feral Steve. Oh! <laughs> that was close than I thought it was. All right, guys, just stay there for one second, please. Don't move. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Love it. Ronald McDonald, that should have killed you. Right. Is that all of them? How did that blast kill the two Eggers and not the Ronald McDonald? Or did it kill both Eggers? I think it did. I don't see the other Edgar down here. Yeah, there he is right down at the bottom. Interesting. <clears throat> I would have put my money on Edgar surviving that. Wow, look at all those guys. <laughs> Come on over. Maybe we can get him to do the same thing again. like a, a wandering horde or something? Seems like an awful lot of Zeekers. I wonder, I wonder if that was... Yeah, it says return to trader and we're still getting attacked, so that's a wandering horde. They must have broken through the garage and, you know, when they heard us. Um, we want these for sure. So, let's let's scrap that, I guess. Better than throwing it away, right? And, uh, three beer, I mean, yeah, I'd take it if I had room, but that's not a high priority for us right now. Okay, fat loot's time. Do I have any eye candy in my bike? I can't remember. I wonder if what we ought to do is go up and drop off, and then, then we can come down, back down and get this stuff. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, there, there, there's just too much stuff that for me to to toss, toss some of it. I want to keep it all. So, yeah, let's go back up, drop off, and then we'll... Yep, that's exactly what those guys did. And they broke through the vault door, too. How funny is that? Oh, there's the... There's our homie right there. Thanks, bud. I'll take all that. Nope, doesn't look like I have any eye candy in here. Okay, well, let's just load up everything that it will take. Okay, here we go. Blueberry pie, sham, and some more paper. All right. Sell that stuff, probably. Oh. All right. <clears throat> this is better than what we're wearing. We are going to lose two mod slots, though. It's three points more armor and four points more explosion resistance and one point more, or one percent more, arm, uh, crit resist. 
Boy, though, do we want to give up two mod slots, though? Uh, I don't think I do, guys. I mean, these two things... I'm not super worried about the quiet mod, at least not with this build. But the, um, the customized fittings is helping us to move more quickly in heavy armor. I don't know if I want to give that up. I definitely don't want to give up the bandolier and, uh, of course, the triple mod. So I don't think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to keep what we got. Okay, let's take a look at the Fat Loot's Crate. Alright. Nothing to really super, super right home to mother about, but it is what it is. Okay, guys, well, that is it for this episode. This place, yeah, this place was pretty impressive in terms of just its size. It's way larger than it appears. Um. Oh, nice. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. And I'm actually, because I can't turn in tonight, you know, because it's the trader's not open, of course. So we'll just do the turn in on this quest at the very beginning of the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.